and I'm here to create a tutorial about creating a database specifically with Access, Microsoft Access. So let me open my Microsoft Access here. So our goal is to create tables from SQL using SQL, which is structured structured query language. So to create a database, uh, let's first name this, and of course you can save this on any path that you want. You may change that by clicking this one, but in my case, I'll be saving it in my document. So I'll just type in trial DB, okay, which means trial database, basically. Now, yeah, it's loading here. To start up with this, I'll be creating everything from scratch. So as you can see, I'll just close that one. And let me create, um, query design. And you'll see this one popping out. We'll just close this and click this one, SQL view, in which you'll type queries. So our goal is to create a table inside the trial DB, which is our database. So to do that, so we'll type in create table. Let me magnify so that you will see it magnify. Okay, so there we go. Create table. Uh, let's name it users. Okay. Users table. So users TBL. You can basically name this on whatever name you want. Opening and closing parentheses and in between you can enter to provide space. So I'll just type in U underscore ID. Okay, and let this be auto increment. And let this be a primary key. Yeah. I think, yeah. Primary key. And then let's type in first underscore name, which will be a var car with 255. Last underscore name, which will be a var car also with 255. And uh, let's say address, which will be a var car also, 255. And let's say, to call this one, age, let this be an int. So we have user's ID, first name, last name, address, and int. Now, let me close this one, the magnifier. So there we go. To run this, we'll click on the run on your left, okay, on your left, upper left corner. Okay, let's run that one, and as you can see, it provides us, okay, let me magnify again, on our left side, the user table, user's table, that we basically had. So, let's first save this one, save, okay, and name this query, um, create table users. Okay, and then press OK, and yeah, so it's basically on our left side now. Okay, let me close this magnifier again. Okay, we have several more queries, so I can click on the user table, as you can see. We do not have anything yet, okay, in this one. We can just simply type, for example, Brian Umandap, which is my name, it's a great tie age 20 okay so you can see auto number so it's it provides um, numbers for you basically automatically so to do that again let's say we'll click on the create and then query design again close this one and SQL view you can also find this SQL view on your see this one on your most right corner bottom right so as you can see this one sql with the icon here so i can click that one okay and it will provide me the same thing okay so let me close this magnifier again now our goal is to insert values so insert let me magnify insert into what's the name of our table it's users 
TBL and basically what are the fields that will be affected. So these are the first underscore name, last underscore name. Okay, let me go back here once again. First underscore name, last underscore name, address and age. Okay, so let's go back here. Comma, address, and then age. Okay, and then what are the values that we want to insert? So, let's say the first name is Bert. Uh, and this one, Bert. Okay, and then let's say Dulai. Okay, and let's say address is Silang Cavite. Okay, and then age is 30. Okay, never forget that each and every time you'll type here in the values, make sure these, the values that must be inserted are enclosed in single quotation marks. Okay, so Bert, Dulai, Silankavite, and 30. And then if we'll be running this one, so create, uh, design, yeah, design, and click run. Okay, let me close my magnifier. Okay, click run. Oh, could not find up to users TB. Okay, because the name of our table is users TBL. There we go. Let me close this again. Okay, and then run. Yes, and then what happened? Yeah, and then once we check our users TBL, we close and open this one more time. As you can see, the Bert Dulai Silang Kabita and 30 is now being inserted because of this specific line or query. Insert into user TBL, first name, last name, address, and age, values Bert Dulai Silang Kabita and 30. So that's basically how to insert now let's save this one and i'll be naming this insert values into users tbl okay and i'll save this one okay let me close my magnifier again okay now i can actually close these open tabs uh, including the table I know I want this to remain open so I'll click on my table again um, let's say create and uh, yeah, query design okay our goal now is to update okay and I'll close this one more time so that the values are yeah, refreshed so bird do like for example so let's focus on this one so for example I want to change the first name of Bert. Okay, there are several um, ways on how we can change this name Bert by simply, you know, clicking here. But in terms of query, we can actually reference any okay, of these data in this table through user ID. So that's basically it. Okay, so that's basically it. So Bert is being inserted in a row in a table. Okay, and make sure, and, and sorry, not make sure, and take a look at this, it's number two. Okay, which uh, once we call number two, it automatically pertains to the Bert, Dulai, Silang, Kavite, and 30. Okay, so, okay, to update values, for example, I want to change the Bert, Dulai, and I'll change this to Albert. Okay, I'll click on query design again, close this one, okay, and I'll be typing my query, okay, I'll be typing my query, SQL view, okay, there we go, let me magnify again, so to do that, we'll type in, okay, update, users tbl, which is basically the name of our table, set, okay, what's the field that you want to add it, so if we'll go back, Okay, Bert, we want to edit the Bert, so it's on the first name column. So we'll type in 
first underscore name okay equals okay and then let's say the value that um, you want to um, to update okay so it's Bert so basically you will change this to Albert okay, Albert and then where we reference it u underscore id equals 2 okay why 2 sir because we're referencing again the user id which pertains to bird dulay silang kavite and 30 okay so once we'll run this one albert will overwrite the bird here so let us see but let me close this one oh, no, no. no need to close let me uh, let's say run and then of course it will ask you yes just click yes okay I'll close this one for a while reopen my table see the bird now becomes Albert so that's basically how to update data okay so let me save this one mm -hmm. let me save this one and I'll name this update query okay so insert create update uh, there's one more thing that I want to teach you and that is how to delete data from the table so create again click on query design let's magnify this one let me close this table here and uh, um, SQL view of course so basically here we'll delete something for example okay once you delete something it will automatically delete a row okay for example if I want to delete this one it automatically deletes the first name last name and address in the same row okay, in the same row so to do that for example I want to delete Brian okay I want to delete Brian okay so it's basically delete uh, from users sorry tbl okay where u underscore id equals one equals one okay so basically just like what i said once you delete it automatically deletes the row now sir why one because it is the use user ID okay, which will which is pertaining to the first name last name and address so if I'll be running this one design run of course it will ask something and then yes of course okay and I can now close this one close okay and reopen the users table okay, so you can see the entire row okay it's being deleted okay the first uid is being deleted together with the first name last name address and age so that's basically it about sql i hope you guys enjoyed this small mini tutorial and see you next week and god bless